Hey yo, it's Shitpost Friday. Hey, how's it going everybody? Brad the Guitologist here, and before you ask, yes, I am rocking the stash. <laughs> Got a little razor happy. As you guys know, I like my razor, so I figured I would just kind of forget a bit for a change. I also forgot a little bit over here, so I'm, I'm rocking it 70s style. Speaking of, uh, speaking of rocking it old school, um, I thought this was kind of interesting. I was on... Um, I've never seen this website before, Music Radar. I guess maybe I'm way the hell out of the loop and it's like the greatest website ever. Um, but I had to do a double take. I didn't know if this was a spoof website or not because I saw a thing here where Jack White uh, is now playing <laughs> Eddie Van Halen guitars. That's right, the guy who is kind of famous for uh, playing old school funky stuff, old silver tones, old harmonies, played old Valcos for a while when he was in the White Stripes, he kind of brought back the Rezo Glass guitars. He has uh, moved on, I guess, moved up in the world. He saw, uh, according to this article, saw an interview with Eddie Van Halen where he was quoted as saying he wanted a guitar that did not fight against him. Um, any, any of you that remember the uh, documentary that Jack White was in with um, The Edge and Jimmy Page, he was quoted as saying in that documentary that he wanted the guitar to fight against him because, you know, I guess he, it forced him to pour out more of his soul. I forget what the quote was, but it was something of that along those lines. He wanted the guitar to fight against him, which I don't know if that means he's going to get an Eddie Van Halen signature uh, Wolfgang now and, and set it up with real high action. <laughs> uh, I guess he wanted a new direction. He's got a new band. And, I, and this gets him some free publicity, I suppose. He's getting it from me. I thought it was interesting because, you know, does this spell the, is this the death note? Because he was kind of one of the people instrumental in bringing back, you know, some of those old kitschy 60s uh, guitars. Um, granted, I don't think I ever saw him, I don't think I ever saw him quite venture over into the kitschy Japanese 60s vintage stuff. He, he was more like a 60s era Chicago made kind of a guy it seemed like. Um, and Dan Electros and stuff like that. But yeah, in, very interesting that he would choose uh, an Eddie Van Halen. And yeah, there's a picture here. I'll put it up on the screen. You can see a picture with uh, with him with his new band and he, yeah indeed he's holding a he's holding a Eddie Van Halen Wolfgang. It's got the it's got the D tuna and all so he's rocking it. Apparently it says here in this article that uh, he sent his engineer out to not only buy the Wolfgang but also to buy a 5150 amp and also uh, what is it? An Ernie Ball Music Man St. Vincent signature model. I'm not sure what that is. Am I just stupid? But you know I mean this, this, is, this is one of those things it's like because you do get a lot of people who are followers. I mean, I'm not really one of them. I play the stuff that I play, and I like the kitschy old stuff because, you know, when you dig into it, it has a different sound than the stuff you're hearing on the radio now. So uh, that, to me, is why I like that That's kind of old stuff. Um, but it's interesting that somebody like Jack White is moving on into gear that is really, you know, I guess, not if not designed for hard rock and heavy metal type players and shredders um, you know it's it's kind of an unspoken thing that you know anything Eddie Van Halen it's for shredders anything with his name on it or associated with him so yeah very interesting do you think this is gonna have any effect any ripple on effect for the uh, vintage guitar market do you think those kitschy guitars now the prices will go down and they'll be affordable again do you think uh, Dan Arbach is the next one to go uh, go pick up a John Petrucci uh, Ernie Ball signature model? I <laughs> also wanted to talk briefly about this Camilla Cabello drama, about her performance on the Ellen DeGeneres show. If you haven't seen the news, it's kind of going around, and I'm sure this is probably her PR firm who, who's... Uh, Who's creating all this, you know, false outrage anyway to get to get her up in the news? But uh, apparently, she goes on the El Ellen DeGeneres show, and I'll show you a short clip here so you can see what what I'm talking about. She's playing this song that's clearly all electronic instruments, 
Uh, there's not a single guitar anywhere to be heard in this track. But you can see her just wailing away like, as if she's uh, jamming right along as if, you know, she's in Led Zeppelin or something here. And clearly she's playing air guitar, but not only is she playing air guitar, but this other guy over here is playing air guitar as well. There are several headlines, you know, some of them are about... Uh, the, such as this one about her bizarre air guitar performance. There are others where, you know, it, it focuses more on her fans defending her. But, you know, we touched upon this briefly whenever the Grammys happened about the complete almost absence of guitar music at, at the Grammys this year uh, and how everything was moving to R&B and hip hop and all that kind of thing. And this is just an, kind of another example of that. It's, it's, you know, I guess guitar is still enough of a status symbol that artists want to go up on a stage with one and kind of hide behind it. Maybe it's one of those things where it's an excuse that she doesn't have to strut her stuff and dance around and try to be all sexy and stuff. If you're playing guitar, you don't have to do all the sexy moves and everything if you have a guitar strapped on because the guitar is sexy enough. You don't need all that extra crap. But it looks like she's in a nightgown or something. It's like This is like a negligee, like something she would go to bed in, not something she would go up on a stage in. But that's artist for you anymore. I guess that's the state of the... Uh, music entertainment industry but you know at least they did take the time to plug her in <laughs> i mean a lot of these milli vanilli air guitar acts don't even bother doing that so you know i guess kudos kudos to the sound people for at least not overlooking that little detail anymore you kind of expect them all to go up there and lip sync you know i know over in england top of the pops they always did lip syncing and i think uh there were shows over here in the u.s as well that sometimes did lip syncing whenever they would go on tv so it's not a new thing it's uh, you know this whole lip syncing phenomenon and air guitar is also not really a new thing uh, but this is just the latest in a long string of incidents that kind of point to the guitar taking a back seat and being more of a status symbol or a or an ex a fashion accessory than an actual instrument so anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh please hit the like or We'll like it too, but he, please hit the subscribe button down below. Also hit the bell to receive all notifications. Grow a mustache and be awesome. And for now, y'all take care. Okay, I had a massive snowstorm hit last night, overnight. My deck, uh, you can get a real good sense of how much snow, but how much is piled on here, and we'll see. Let's see. So we've got what looks like about five inches. Five inches. Hey, get dog food. Get dog food. Five inches of dog food? <laughs> Winter driving is always fun. Actually, the road's not that bad. I expected a lot worse. Okay, about to hit the main road, so see you guys later.